Hello everyone, I'm J.D. Wallington, and today we're going to show you how to assemble our Glatzenberry style chair. Uh, the thing to remember about our reenactment furniture is that uh, we make everything out of seasoned wood pallets, okay? So, although they may look similar, they're not. Each chair is made individually, okay? Each table is made individually, and the parts do not interchange, okay? So I just wanted to be real clear about that. You'll have a little a package in your in in your uh, when your package arrives. You'll have a little pouch in there with all your pins and stuff in it. Make sure that they all stay together because they will not interchange with other chairs. Okay. All right. Uh, the first thing I like to do when your package arrives and it looks something like this, I like to take my parts out and lay them all out. My arms, uh, your middle bracket, your legs. And, of course, all your little pins and pegs. Okay? All right. Now, if you come in close, you can take a look here. You'll see that this is the bottom of the chair. I mean, this is your seat, rather. Okay? And you'll see it's all numbered here. One, two, three, and four. Okay? This is the back of your chair, your back brace. Okay? You can just leave it laying just like that. Remember, with your seat, You'll know which side is the front because it has a it has a lip here, okay, and the back side will not. So you just turn it over, set it down into your back, okay, and you'll see the lip here. Make sure that's at the front, okay. And then I like to lay my pegs out, and if you'll notice, all the pegs are numbered, okay. There's three, three's over there, four's here, one's here, and two's there, okay. That way, when you get ready to stick it, put them all together, they're all right there, and you don't have to look for them. Okay. Next thing is your legs. Okay. If you look, the legs are numbered. Okay. And you want legs one and two because we're going to start right there. When you put these legs together, they go just like that. Okay. And you'll notice a little, like a little heart shape, I call it. You know, a V shape, whatever. And then you want to hide your numbers. So just make sure that you your numbers go into your numbers. That's the best way to say that. Okay? All right. They just sit there for a minute. The same way with uh, three and four. Okay? When you put those together, okay, make sure they'll go in and they'll hide your numbers for you. So when you set it down in there, you won't see the numbers at all. Okay? All right. Next thing is your middle brace. Your middle bracket brace. You just slide her in. Okay? Put that one in. And it all sits down in there just like that. Okay? Then all you do is just push your pins all the way through. Okay? Now, on the front two, I mean on the back two, brother, okay, you're going to connect your legs to your seat and to your back. Okay? So that pin's got to go all the way through all three of them. Okay? Like so. Okay? Same way with the other side. You're going to connect your back on this part here. Okay? So your pin's got to go all the way through. Okay. All right. You get that far, it's almost over. Next, I like to go ahead and put my bottom pins in for my legs. It makes everything kind of tighter while you're working on it. Okay. You can use a little hammer to tap them in if you want to, but hand tight is just fine. Okay. Okay. And as you'll see, it kind of tightens up those legs real nice and sturdy. All right. You got that far? All you do is just reach in and grab the back and just set your chair up. Okay. And as you can see, she's almost ready. Uh, your arms, you don't have to worry about because they can only go one way. Okay? So, uh, and you'll need one pin. Okay? So you put your arms in. Arms on like that, and just lean it right on back into your seat. And place your peg in. Okay? And do the same thing with the other side. Okay? And add your pin. Okay? Now, like I said, each one of these chairs are made individual. So when it comes to putting in your, your pegs and your pins, you might have to you know, kind of make sure that they're all going to fit like they're supposed to. 
in each one, you know. I'll give it a little tap. And just turn that around to there and slide her in. And just give her a little tap. Okay. Same way with the top up here. Slide your pin in. That's a big pin. Get one of the smaller ones. And, uh, and just give her a little tap. Okay. Same way on the other side. Okay, and basically, that's it. Okay. And there you go. Your very own glass style chair. Good, strong, sturdy. Will stand up to about anything that you want to put in it. And there you go.